Okay, radio fans, back with another uh, quick review of one of the receivers here in the Radio Shack in Potomac, Maryland. Uh, this is, as you see, the Eddie Stone uh, 1650-9. The Eddie Stone uh, 1650 series was produced in England between about 1991 or so and 1998. It uh, went through a number of versions. This is the Slash 9 uh, without the uh, pre-selector, uh, which is something I'm seeking but haven't been able to locate. Uh, the Eddie Stone is a beautiful receiver, uh, first of all. It's one of the most, the best-looking radios you can possibly have uh, from the premium radios available on the uh, used market. Um, this is a general coverage receiver, 10 to 30 megahertz. It's uh, multi-mode, as you can see right here, with AM, SSB, CW, and FSK. It's got slow, uh, fast, and off positions for gain control. It's got... Uh, two or three positions of uh, db uh, dampening here available on the front panel you got your uh, frequency selection here on the left and various scan functions uh, as well as uh, byte tests that can be done with the radio uh, built into its circuitry the s meter is a kind of a neat uh, horizontal uh, led uh, over here you got the on off switch and here you have your many modes available in the 1650-9 uh, from very wide, wide, to USB and LSB, along with intermediate, narrow, and very narrow. Um, in, in operation, what this enables you to do is, is really narrow in on a station uh, on a certain frequency and narrow out interference. Uh, the main tuning knob is uh, right here. You've got on the right side a display intensity control, which, as you can see, will turn up uh, the LED brightness uh, on the receiver, so I'll do that uh, for a moment right there. Uh, here's the IF gain control, and the audio gain control is, uh, is uh, also right there. Um, so again, uh, this is a, an extremely sensitive and stable receiver uh, made by Eddie Stone in the 1990s. Uh, I think it compares favorably with many of the best premium radios on the market today, although perhaps uh, not... Uh, to my WJ8718A up uh, a couple shelves from here. So let me turn it on and uh, give you some tuning uh, examples. Uh, I'm tuned here to begin with to All India Radio, uh, which uh, thankfully remains one of the stations we can hear on shirtwave, uh, 11670, and you can hear the audio here, and I'll also tune around a bit. I'm using uh, audio through a Grove SP200 uh, sound enhancer speaker uh, a little to the right. So what I'm going to do here is uh, leave the radio in single sideband mode um, and tune around to some other stations. A uh, station uh, you can hear there is uh, Zanzibar coming in very well on 11.735. This is the season uh, for reception of Zanzibar here in the East Coast of North America. Uh, Cuba, of course, uh, Cuba coming in 11760, and about 20 kilohertz up from this or so, you should hear uh, Brazil beginning to fade in in uh, the early evening. There's Brazil, uh, not quite faded in yet. Uh, let me go up to uh, Saudi Arabian frequency 11820. Now, many of the uh, YouTube videos you'll see of the Eddie Stone 1650 involve reception of utility, code stations, ham radio operators. I thought I'd give you a quick tour of how it operates on the major shirtwave bands uh, and show you that this is uh, one fine uh, 
heck of a radio here. Uh, a couple other stations uh, I'll, I'll tune in here. To give an example of how the keypad works, I'll direct tune 15140 and get you up to the uh, uh, Radio Oman, which is one of the Middle Eastern stations we still have on shortwave. Now you notice what I did there was tune in the frequency, but once I uh, keyed in enough digits, uh, 15140, I was able to simply uh, hit the tuning knob and the radio tunes right to the frequency without any uh, trailing zeros. I'm going to go back to uh, 11670, back to India, where we started this uh, quick review. So once again, that's the Eddystone uh, 1650 slash 9, my cursory review of the radio. It's a, it's a fine looking receiver. If you can get them in uh, this good cosmetic condition, it's certainly worth having. Uh, prices seem to be in the uh, $1,500 range, um, usually from uh, UK uh, sellers. Um, spare parts are a whole other thing. There is a Eddystone users group on the internet uh, where you can possibly get uh, replacement parts for them. Uh, but generally, this is a fine radio, the Eddystone 1650-9. Proud to have it here in the Radio Shack in Potomac, Maryland. Bye-bye.